Today marks the 12th month since the second Niger Bridge began operation in southeastern Nigeria. At about 9.50 a.m. local time on December 15, 2022, the second Niger Bridge was opened to local traffic and commuters. It was commissioned by the former president of Nigeria. You might have questions about the current state, the experiences, and whether or not this bridge was a good decision in the first place. To be honest with you, it has been an exciting journey, and there are definitely some shocking facts and updates that you don't want to miss. Click that like button and subscribe to the channel, and let's dive right in. Let's take a step back and remember the incredible moment when the bridge officially opened to the public on December 15, 2022. The anticipation was high and the excitement was uncontrollable as people from all over Nigeria flocked to witness the historic event. It was truly a moment to remember. Fast forward to today and the Second Niger Bridge has already made a significant impact. Not only has it improved connectivity between the east and west of Nigeria, but it has also alleviated traffic congestion on the existing Niger Bridge. This has been a game changer for commuters and businesses alike, making travel more efficient and boosting economic activity in the region. But that's not all. There has been some truly shocking facts and updates about the bridge that will leave you amazed. Did you know that the Second Niger Bridge is one of the longest bridges in West Africa? spanning over 1.6 kilometers, that's about 1,600 meters long. This is a Nigerian federal government project. It comes equipped with ancillary infrastructure including a 10.3 kilometer highway, a Wari interchange and a toll station all at Obosi city near Onesha. The goal of the second Niger bridge is to eliminate the traffic congestion on the Niger River bridge, boosting economic activities by expanding access into the southeastern part of Nigeria generating employment opportunities and improving road safety along the corridor. Construction cost was about 336 billion naira. It was built by Julius Berger. The project was funded through the Presidential Infrastructure Development Fund, PIDF, created by President Muhammad Buhari and managed by NSIA. It's an engineering marvel that showcases the incredible capabilities of Nigerian and African ingenuity. The bridge has been lauded for its state-of-the-art design and construction, incorporating the latest technology and safety features. It was constructed using the cantilever method, while the ram bridges was constructed using the incremental launching method. This has not only made the bridge a symbol of progress and development, but also a source of pride for the nation. Now, here is where it gets exciting. Did I mention that regular maintenance is crucial in order to keep the bridge in good condition? Portos are beginning to have a toll on this bridge already, which is sad considering how much has been spent and the bridge is just one year old today. But all hope isn't lost. The bridge is a game changer already. It's amazing and saves a lot of time. Yes, the portals will be fixed in no time. I'm counting on the Nigerian government to swing into action immediately. The impact of the second Niger bridge on the people and the region is truly inspiring and it's a testament to the power of vision, determination and hard work. Here is to many more years of success and prosperity for the Second Niger Bridge. If you have enjoyed this episode, please like the video. Let's spread positivity about our dear country, Nigeria. Let's not be tired. The future is going to be bright. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.